everybody and welcome to my channel. For those of you who've never been here before, my name is Heather Spears and I live for fashion. So I noticed that some of my other Animal Crossing um, video content did super well and I thought, well, maybe it would be a good time to do some more Animal Crossing content. So in this video, I am going to be giving you guys a rundown of how I styled myself to look like Flick from Animal Crossing. So if you guys are excited, please give me a thumbs up so that I know. And without further ado, let's get styled. So make sure you stay tuned to the end of this video because I have a very big surprise to share with you guys. But before we get to that, let's get started in checking out how I made myself look like Flick from Animal Crossing. Okay guys, so first things first. The first thing that I thought of when wanting to style myself like Flick is I wanted to run straight to my closet and see what I had. Now I had a very important piece to this look in my closet already and that happened to be the vest. Now with the particular vest that I chose, I picked a vest that was, it's false leather and it has a ton of studs all over it. Now the reason why I picked the one with the studs is because Flick himself, he has piercings and he has studs on his net and he has studs on his vest, but not to the extremity of my vest. So instead of putting on the extra jewelry and stuff like how I would usually do if I had a vest that looked, you know, exactly like Flick's, um, I used the studs on mine to kind of uh, be symbolic of that, to be kind of like, um, you know, indicate, you know, the extra jewelry and the extra studs that Flick actually wears. So that's why my vest is the way that it is with this look. I thought stylistically it really did work. Now if you are styling yourself like Flick, I think you can get away with any kind of black vest. And I think doing a false leather is always a good way to go, especially with a character like this. And if you do not have a vest with all the studs on it like I did, just accentuate the look with a little extra jewelry and you'll be golden. So the only thing that I owned before doing this look was the vest. So I did need to go shopping for the bottoms. Now the bottoms of this look are super cute uh, leggings that are very close to Flick's actual print and very close to Flick's actual in-game style. So it is very close to Flick. But I do think that if you are styling yourself up to look like Flick just like I did, you can really get away with anything on the bottom. As long as you keep the color and the pattern right, I think you can get away with a skirt, I think you can get away with shorts, I think you just gotta shop for your own personal style. Now in my look, I did choose the leggings because, you know, that is part of my personal style, but I think this is really the best part of the outfit to get creative with and be you. The only thing I made for this look was the shirt, and I made my shirt from the ground up but I do think it would be easier if you just purchased a black shirt and ended up customizing it to look more like Flick. Now with my shirt, I customized it with a ladybug logo that I drew on Adobe Illustrator. And I drew the logo and, used, and cut it out on my Cricut machine with iron-on. So that is always an option if you have a Cricut machine, but I know not everybody does. So another option on customizing the black top for this look is actually paint. Now I would recommend fabric paint, but you can probably get away with acrylic too. I'm just not sure how many washes you'll get out of that. So I would recommend sticking with fabric paint if you can. And just do a purplish pinkish maroon for that base of the ladybug and take some white paint and layer it over the top, making the ladybug outline and shape. You'll notice on Flick that it's a very messy drawing on his shirt. It's not something that is perfect and it's not meant to be perfect. So you can really just, any skill level can just get out a paintbrush and really make something that looks an awful lot like him and I think that is super cool. So finally we are going to do those last little pieces of style up the outfit and really make it come into one picture and look like Flick. So the way that I did this was I added a choker and then I added some combat boots to complete the actual look. Now I also did my makeup pretty dark. I did it in reds and blacks to really, really show off the character and who it's trying to be. Other than that, I did my hair and I did my hair very specifically. 
Now, the hair itself, this is my real hair, and I didn't want to get away with wearing a wig or anything like that, so I did it kind of unique. And I've never seen this style out and about before, but I do think it's pretty cool and it's pretty different, and I think you could if you wanted to. Now, the way that I did this kind of reminds me of Star Wars a little bit, but that's a whole thing for a different video. But I did my hair vertically in buns, if that makes sense. So if you think about it more like a um, mohawk, but in buns, and I have long hair, so I was able to put this um, buns in and pin it around to make it look more like a reptile. And that's really truly what I was going for. It doesn't have the sharp points that Flick has, but it was a fun style to give a shot to, and I do think that it gets the point across for the overall look. So those are just the little things that came together and made this outfit really say Flick. You stuck around until the end of the video, which means it's time for me to reveal my super big surprise for you. Now I know I said that my other Animal Crossing content did much better than I thought it would. And so many people came with some great comments and stuff to try to win my Animal Crossing uh, leaf outfit. So with that being said, I was only able to choose one winner for that and she was the absolute sweetest person that I've ever, you know, spoken to. And after that, I thought, I wish there was a way for me to reach more of these uh, Animal Crossing fans. I'm a super big Animal Crossing fan, and I'm assuming if you're watching this, you probably are too. So I am going to be hosting another giveaway. But this giveaway is not for the current outfit that I have for Flick. I actually made separate t-shirts that I am going to be giving away in my next video, so definitely stay tuned for that. Other than that, I do have a design code available if you are looking to dress yourself as Flick in the game in one of my unique designs that I'm going to input right here in case you want that in-game outfit. So if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up so that I know. And if you'd like to hang out again or if you want to stay tuned for that giveaway that's coming up, hit that subscribe button and you're always welcome to join me. Until next time guys, bye!